In previous videos, we've already seen the creation of queries with table and pivot table outputs. We will now see the creation of a query with chart output, that is to say, we will view it as a graph. As we continue to use the metadata corresponding to the travel agency knowledge base, we will now create a graph to show the maximum and minimum values of ticket prices per destination country. The graph must then show two values for each destination country, namely, one corresponding to the maximum price and the other corresponding to the minimum price. We then enter the GX Query web and select New Chart. We choose the graph type, such as, for example, bars. Now we call the query under the name Flights Prices. We can see the graph in its edit mode with all the areas that comprise it. In previous videos, we've explained what the order, filter, and pages areas correspond to. So, we will now go on to explain the series and categories areas. Series are values to be graphed. In this example, the higher price is a series and the lower price is another series to be graphed. Each series will be seen on the graph with a different color. In the case of a graph of the pi type, it is only possible to graph one single series of values, since this type of graph shows the percentage of each value as compared to a total. Categories, on the other hand, are frequencies or instances for which we want to include values on the graph. In our example, since we want to view prices per country, then countries are the category and the two prices are the series. Depending on the graph type, categories may be on the X, horizontal axis, or on the Y, vertical axis. For instance, in the case of a bar graph, categories are located along the vertical axis, while column graphs have categories on the horizontal axis. Now let's get back to the edit mode to define the query we try to explain. From the attributes panel, we drag flight price over the series area, and flight arrival country name over the categories area. Now we double click on flight price, and we see that, by default, the sum operation was applied. But since we want the highest and the lowest values, we modify this calculation to obtain the lesser value. This is done by declaring min flight price. To also obtain the greatest value, we drag flight price again over the series area and apply the max flight price formula. We should recall that, because these attributes are of the numeric type, by default, GX query applies to them the sum operation. If we had dragged an attribute of any other data type, then GXQuery would have applied count. Let's press view to see the results. We will now modify the description of the query elements. We edit the query again, and using the properties panel, we modify the description of flight arrival country name so that it reads arrival country name. Then we also change the descriptions of the series so that they read min price and max price. We press view again and see the changes we just made. 
As we saw in designing tables and pivot tables, also in graphs, we can filter data in order to inquire only on what we want to analyze. Let's suppose, for example, that we only want to view information on the graph for Brazil, China, and the United States. We then return to editing the query and drag flight arrival country name over the filters area. We select Brazil, China, and the United States, and then press OK. We press view again to see the results. To supplement the query, we will add a view as table. So we press add table. And to finish, we press save to save the query.